It's July the 7th, 2011 and it's 4.15 a.m. I'm uh, looking at that object <laughs> that's in the sky. It's not a star. Took about a hundred shots of it uh, with a still camera, but I don't have this kind of zoom on it, so I'll have to enlarge the, the photos. We'll see what comes out. Okay, it looks like the same cluster as yesterday morning. Took some video about an hour's worth about the same time. It was 3 30 a.m. yesterday. And now it's 4 15. Okay. So this is a cluster and it's not a star. It's the same one as yesterday. And it's there every every day lately. I'm just gonna leave it there because it's on the move. It's uh, going up. Just gonna lower it here so I can watch it go up. Get it in the middle. So that's not a star or a planet. And it's not a flying saucer. It's not a plane or anything else uh, that can hover. Not a helicopter. And it's a cluster and it's been moving intelligently yesterday too it's been moving yesterday it was hiding between the clouds and moving uh, all four directions and uh, up and down and now I don't see too many clouds so there's no place for it to hide but it's moving very fast going up so in order to uh, hold it the camera on it I have to hold the camera on it I can't just leave it I have to uh, hold it by hand so this is a huge cluster and I don't know hmm. I don't know if it's the cluster messing with my computer or someone through the internet or what but they're really messing with my computer and I haven't been able to make any video that I have on that I have taken either yesterday or the day before and uh, my Windows Movie Maker is stuck and so is every other movie uh, maker that I have I have uh, three or four of them and I've uh, cleaned my computer and uh, checked for viruses and everything and uh, just uh, it's none of that and it could be this thing or someone that knows uh, how to get through to my IP address through the internet and really messing with my whole thing so uh, 
This cluster has been changing shape continuously. Trying to get the camera on it in the middle. So I have to hold it because it's moving. And it's just uh, a pure uh, mass of energy. It's just like the thing in the, at the CN Tower, like a portal at the CN Tower. And that's what it reminds me of. It looks exactly the same as the portal when it opens up at the CN Tower. Maybe that's a portal up in the sky, real high up. But uh, right now it's a cluster, a big one too. That nucleus is a couple of kilometers across. And the thing is at least 10 kilometers high off the ground, maybe more. It's hard to tell how high up off the ground it is. But I'll start with 10 because I'm at pretty high zoom right now. So that's how fast it's moving. Sometimes it moves faster. It doesn't have a steady rate because it just sometimes zips off and sometimes it goes slow. It moves around like a top. If you spin a top on a table and watch it just spin around and go different places until uh, it got steady that's about how this thing moves it spins around all over the sky and then it stays steady but right now I gotta hold the camera on it So most likely it's really high up in the sky, uh, much more than 10 kilometers, because right now I'm at 400x. If I go any more, it'll be bigger than the screen, so I won't be able to see anything except the white hot nucleus there. And I want to see the orbs around uh, the nucleus what they do So the shake is me trying to hold the camera steady on the on the cluster and hold it in the middle. And the cluster is moving. Oops, slipped. Okay, let's see how it moves at less magnification.
You can see it climbing and it's going straight up like a rocket. I get it down and watch it. It changes shape a lot. I haven't touched the uh, zoom up or anything. I haven't changed the focus. That's that thing changing shape in flight. And that's how I know it's not a metallic object or anything. It's a living uh, mass. It could be a ship, but it's uh, it's alive. And uh, I'm just going to keep calling them clusters because I see a lot of living organisms in them. And I don't know what else to call it. It's a cluster of living organisms. And that's why they can change shape and color and uh, everything about themselves. So that's how it changes shape, just like that, and color and everything. There's uh, no problem about that. And the only way that it can do that is if it's a living mass of organisms and not a metallic object, because a metallic object would have to stay the same. So it's traveling northwest and it's climbing straight up at the same time. So it's traveled just as far north as it has traveled west. So it's going northwest and pretty much at the same rate. And I don't know what the rate is, but uh, it can't be too slow because it's going out of the frame in no time so west is to the right and north is up and that's the way it's going northwest back down and 
And I'm holding the camera on it. You can see the ores going counterclockwise around the nucleus there. And that entire thing is just uh, the center of a real huge cluster. Or the, I don't know, zillions of those orbs or whatever they are. They look uh, like orbs. And the sky is full of them. And the whole area around that nucleus. Uh, that's as wide as my eyes can see, not the, just the camera. It goes for who knows how many miles. This many. The entire sky full. Even more. It's part of that nucleus, the larger cluster around it. And this is just the nucleus of, of a huge cluster. And to the naked eye, it looks like a star, but it's nothing of the sort. That's no star at all. In fact, none of the stars up in the sky are stars. They're all these clusters. No stars are real anymore. Because all we see is, is these things, and they look like stars. But actually, because there are so many organisms like that in the air, that are all around the nucleus, we can't see the sky, the real sky. We can only see them. We can't see anything behind them or beyond them. All we can see is them and they create the illusion that we're looking at stars by making that nucleus of the cluster glow like that but as you can see that's no star at all those are living organisms and there's a sky full of them and I'm wondering when they're gonna start falling on my head because there's so many in the air all over on the ground, in the water, and a whole sky full for sure. There's just uh, zillions and zillions and zillions of them. Unbelievable and astonishing amount that no one can possibly count. Just look at them all. So that's what's over your head whether you want to admit it to yourself or not and it doesn't matter where you live on this planet that's what's over your head zillions of these things and they create the illusion that you're looking at the sky and the heavens and the stars and everything else that's in the sky day and night even clouds they even make clouds the clouds are not real anymore and uh, the moon is gone we're looking at a hologram and also the sun seems to be a hologram lately because it just doesn't look the same it doesn't show up in the right places there's all kinds of objects all around it that are huge larger than uh, all our planets put together, some of those things. And uh, it's really strange what's in the sky. And the whole sky doesn't seem like it's real anymore. In fact, I know it's not real anymore. Because it's all of these things. Look at them all. The sky is full of these things and you can't see past them. And these things have intelligent movement. They change directions. Last night the thing was going all over the place. And tonight it's just traveling northwest. So uh, 
I'm just gonna leave it here. Let's see how how long it takes it to go through the screen at low zoom. It's definitely traveling northwest and it's going right across the sky. Even at low zoom like this, uh, you can tell it's moving. And uh, no star in the sky would move that fast because uh, the earth doesn't turn that fast. Movement like that for a star would take hours, not, not, not uh, less than a minute. So, whatever is in our sky is intelligent. There are so many of them that I'm not even going to try counting them. Even if I had a supercomputer, a whole uh, city full of supercomputers, I wouldn't try because there's so many of them I couldn't possibly count them. No matter what kind of a computer I had, there's just too many of them. And uh, I wonder if they're messing up my computer or if they got someone down here on the ground doing it for them. So I can't uh, make a movie out of any of these videos that I shoot. But whatever is the case, they're pretty successful in, uh, in terms of stopping me for now. But I'm still going to take the videos and put them on when I fix everything even if that means getting more computers and a different IP address and a different uh, carrier for internet and a, a different everything I, no matter what I'm gonna make sure people see this So they can try to stop me all they want. But they can't stop me all the time. There's a limit to how much they can even do. So you can see how much it's going north and how much it's going west. I'm just pressing the thing down. You see how far west it just went in just a few seconds? Right off the screen. I'll put it over here. Watch. It's going to go to the right and up. And no star moves like that, shaky like that and everything. That is not star movement. Okay. Because the earth would have to be shaking that way for the thing to be uh, skipping along like that and so fast. Just look at those orbs, sky full, there's nothing else up there uh, for us, you need a super spaceship to get out there past them, I think even if you had one, they'd knock it off and get you in the sky, you wouldn't be able to get away from them, there's so many. So running off into space is out of the question. I don't know if underground would work since they can go any place. But uh, boy, there's a lot of them. And uh, you can deny it all you want. The reality of the matter is they're here and they're not going to leave. 
and they're here to stay. Watch from the ground. It looks like a star. But when you go up close, it's not a star at all. And you're even closer. And it looks even less than a, a, a star now. And then when you go up closer than that, boy, now it really doesn't look like a star. It's got too many ores all around it. And they're moving about and creating that glow. And that's not a star at all. So, that's the second night in a row that I filmed the same cluster. And it is the same cluster because I've seen it rise up from Toronto. And I was waiting for it to just get up there so I can get a clear shot of it. But uh, there's a lot of these in Toronto. They're happening all over the place. And they uh, get uh, a few of these nucleuses, nuclei, I should say, together. And then they uh, combine them and they go up in the sky. And then they look like a star to the naked eye. But what they're really doing is producing electromagnetic energy by the counterclockwise rota rotations and revolutions around the nucleus and around each other in the nucleus and with their high frequency vibrations uh, they're creating el electromagnetic energy for the entire cluster and that nucleus is like a dynamo uh, it's like an electromagnetic dynamo that supplies the energy for the cluster and it's on 24-7, day and night, no matter where the cluster is. And uh, if the cluster splits up into smaller clusters, then the nuclei of the smaller clusters keep going on, except uh, the smaller size. But they still go on. The, the uh, action never stops, and the energy creation never stops because uh, the ores need the energy and they create it on the ground in the water they create it in trees they create it in the air low to the ground or uh, just a few hundred feet above the ground and then in the atmosphere and as high up as this lots of miles or kilometers up in the atmosphere it happens all over there's no place on this planet that this is not happening because there's so many of them so that's the cluster that looks like a star one of them one of the zillions of them that are all over the place but this is one of the few dozen large ones that I can observe in the sky over my head. There's a whole lot smaller ones, a whole lot of them, but uh, these are the larger ones that look like stars. Earth is its new home and the home of uh, a whole lot of these to a whole lot of them and they're not gonna leave and they sure don't look like they're gonna leave looking at all of them 
Uh, they're not going to go anywhere. They like it here. Thanks for watching.